Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, five problems have completed on assignment problems. Now, in this video, sixth problem I'm going to do. So almost every problem, the procedure remains same. The algorithm given by Hungarian mathematic, mathematician D. Koenig is same. First step, row subtraction. Second step, column subtraction. Then we have to draw the minimum number of lines like that. Now before starting the sixth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Now see the sixth problem. Suggest optimum assignment of four workers A, B, C and D to four jobs. One, two, three, four. And if one worker should be given one job. Every worker should be given one job. So four workers, four jobs. The time taken by different workers in completing the different jobs is given below. The worker A. How much time he will take to complete first job? 8 hours. Second job? 10 hours. Third job? 12 hours. Fourth job? 16 hours. Like that every worker how much time he will take to complete each of the jobs is given in the matrix. Also indicate the total time taken in completing the jobs. The first step. Step number one is subtracting the smallest element in each row from the corresponding element of that row. So first row you can see minimum is 8. So 8 minus 8, 0. Then 10 minus 8, 2. 12 minus 8, 4. 16 minus 8 is 8. Second row minimum is 8. So 11 minus 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 3. Again 11 minus 8, 3. 15 minus 8, 7. 8 minus 8, 0. Then next third row minimum is 5, 9 minus 5, 4, 6 minus 5, 1, 5 minus 5, 0, 14 minus 5 is 9. Last row minimum is 7, 15 minus 7 is 8, 14 minus 7 is 7, 9 minus 7, 2, 7 minus 7, 0. That's all. So we have completed the first step, row subtraction. The second step is column subtraction. That means in each column, the, the smallest element should be subtracted from every element of that column. And then drawing the minimum number of lines. First column minimum is 0. When minimum is 0, zero if you deduct 0 from anything, you will get the same value. So same values 0, 3, 4 and 8. Second column minimum is 1. So subtract 1, 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 1 minus 1, 0, 7 minus 1, 6. Next column minimum is 0. So same values 4, 7, 0, 2. Last column minimum is 0. So again same values 8, 0, 9, 0. That's all. So we have done the second step. Now drawing minimum number of lines so as to cover up all the zeros. So how many zeros maximum we can cover up in a single line? You have to see the row as well as column. Row wise only one zero, one zero, two zeros and one zero. Maximum two zeros are there in the third row. Whereas column wise one zero, one zero, one zero, two zeros. So column also two zeros. So what we'll do? This last column we are having two zeros. So cancel these two zeros. Here third row we have two zeros. So in row wise also two zeros. Now lastly one zero is left. One zero is left. So either you draw vertically or horizontally as you wish. So I am drawing horizontally. So how many lines are there? All the zeros are covered. Three lines. One, two and three. Number of lines are three. Order of the matrix is four. Since the number of lines are not equal. Since the number of lines are not equal to the order of the matrix. So optimum solution is not reached. The minimum uncovered element is the minimum uncovered element 
is what is the minimum uncovered element you can see 2 is the minimum is 2 hence subtract 2 from uncovered elements comma add 2 at the point of intersection at the point of intersection and keeping the other values same again draw minimum number of lines minimum number of lines so this is the step we have to follow if the number of lines and order of the matrix are not equal optimum solution is not reached the minimum uncovered element is 2 so subtract 2 from uncovered elements add 2 at the point of intersection keeping the other covered values same then again drawing minimum number of lines now see here 0 is covered so 0 as it is 1 4 is covered 1 4 here 8 plus 2 10 Next to 3 minus 2, 1, 2 minus 2, 0, 7 minus 2, 5, then 0 covered as it is, 4, 4 is covered as it is, 0, 0 covered, then next to here 1, here it is 9, so 9 minus, 9 plus 2, because intersection is there, 9 plus 2, 11, here 8 minus 2, 6, 6 minus 2, 4, 2 minus 2, 0, and lastly 0 covered as it is. Over. Now, here again, minimum number of lines so as to cover up all the zeros. So, how many lines are required? See carefully here. Column wise, 1, 0, 2, zeros, 2, zeros, 2, zeros. Row wise, 1, 0, 2, zeros, 2, zeros, 2, zeros. So, maximum 2 zeros are there, right? So, if we draw this horizontal line, 2 zeros are covered this vertical line two zeros are covered right now three zeros are there at three different places so it will go to five lines if we draw four lines itself we can cover up how to how to take five lines because here one line here one line here one line no so in four lines itself we can be able to cover up we are getting five lines so we'll cancel this an assignment will make in four lines will make the assignment in four lines not in five lines we are getting here five lines hmm. so what are the values zero uh, here one as it is four as it is ten then here three minus two one here it is zero five zero four zero All right covered then lastly 8 minus 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 2 0 and 0. These are the values. Now earlier we have cancelled those 2's, we will change our situation. Uh, so 2, 2 zeros are there in that these 2 zeros are cancelled, these 2 zeros are cancelled and these 2 zeros are cancelled. So row wise if we go 2, 2, 2. Only one zero is left, either horizontally or vertically, these zeros. So how many lines are there? Four lines. Order of the matrix, four. In four lines, we can cover up all the zeros. Therefore, the optimum solution is reached. <clears throat> optimum solution is reached. The optimum assignments... assignments are as follows the optimum assignments how to give first of all take the same values 0 1 4 6 1 0 0 4 4 5 0 0 10 0 11 0 that's all same values are taken now for giving the assignment, any row having a single zero, yes, first row we have a single zero, assign this zero, cancel any other zero in the row or column, no zeros, any other row having a single zero, no, 
we have two zeros here, two zeros here, two zeros here. That means we may have, we may have multiple optimum solutions. Two to zero. So arbitrarily, if I select this zero, then this zero will get cancelled in the row and column this zero cancelled. Right? Any other row having a single zero? Yes. Here it is one zero. So assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column. Any other row? Yes, one zero is there. Right? So optimum assignments are A1, B it is uh, 2, C it is 3, and D it is 4. Now, one a original problem, you come to the original problem, sixth problem, one A1 is 8, then B2 is 11. C3 is 5 and D4 is 7. Total minimum time is equal. Now you calculate the total minimum time 8 plus 11 plus 5 plus 7 that comes to 31 hours. 31 hours is the minimum time. Here what we observe is there is a multiple optimal solution arbitrarily we have select this one now we'll check whether any other alternative solution is there or not alternative solution whenever we use arbit arbitrary rule in assignment there there is a chance of opt uh, another solution alternate solution table number five in table number 5, again we will try and see whether another solution will exist or not. 1, 2, 3, 4. A, B, C, D. Now, see carefully here. The values will take 0, 1, 4, 6, 1, 0, 0, 4, 4, 5, 0, 0, 10, 0, 11, 0. Now assignment. First row only one 0 is there. Assign this 0. Cancel any other 0 is in that row and call. Now we have two two zeros. B row 2 zeros. C row 2 zeros. D row 2 zeros. So arbitrarily we have taken B2. Now we change. We will take B4. We will select this one. So column this zero will get cancelled and row this zero will get cancelled right any other row having a single zero yes d row we have a single zero assign this zero cancel the other zeros in that column and c is having only one zero assign this zero cancel the other zeros in that row. now you can see all the zeros are either assigned or cancelled no uh, i mean unassigned zero is there now we'll see the optimum assignment Optimum assignment time. So A1, then B4, C it is 2, and D it is 3. Now you check the times from the original problem. Sixth problem A1, it is 8 hours, B4, it is 8 hours. C2 it is 6 hours and D3 it is 9 hours. Total minimum time. Now you find the total. It is 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 9. It comes to 31. 31 hours. So in this problem you can see two solutions are there with the answer same. Total minimum time is 31 hours, here also 31 hours. But allocation, assignment is different. A1, here also A1. Here B2, but here we are having B4. C3, but here we are having C2. And D4, here we have D3. So assignments have changed, but the total uh, time remains same. This is called multiple optimum solution. This will happen whenever we use arbitrarily assignment to any one of the cell. Right? That's all. This is the end of problem number 6. Inshallah, we'll start problem number 7 in the next video.